คลอเดอร์Welcome to 50 Great Short Stories, and today we're doing number 26. Sorry about the、uh, scariness, Claude, but right now I'm going to be quick. All right, welcome to number 26 of short stories, and today I'm going to actually be talking about this story called "Father Wakes Up" by a guy named Clarence Day. And interestingly, the main character is called Mr. Day, and the、uh, narrator calls him Father. So I'm going to guess it's a pretty true story. So let's get to start with first off. Here's how this whole story actually comes in. First off, it's about like a father. Going ahead and somehow restarting the economy of apparently a person of a, like of a village, technically city, and basically apparently this village goes ahead and it's in the ice industry and in the ice industry so everyone's case kind of like, kind of like okay, species, we'll give it to you tomorrow and they don't give them tomorrow and they're like we'll give them the next day though、no, they don't and then they just give you the order one month late and they're like sorry miss but here's your order when did I order this、uh, June first of twenty. 20, uh, 2019, actually, that was a month ago. Isn't today June fifth? No, today is September. No, today is July first. Miss, you must be miss. No, I am not. You go away. That basically actually how it all goes ahead, and people seem to go ahead and be a bit confused with all this. And of course, everyone is starting to hate this all because now everyone seems, and this this is a pretty good observation that scene. All these people are creating these shops maybe because of business. However, it seems that they're more interested in the gossip that these gossip that's being told in these shops instead of like. The actual business things, like、right? they don't actually sell the cakes as they're supposed to. They just talk about the gossip and just、I'm、guessing that they get the money and they eat the cake them eat the cake themselves. So this father says to go ahead and change all that and says, "You there? I want some ice." Okay, we'll give it to you tomorrow morning. So today, no, tonight's the Sunday. So no, you must give it to me by six thirty. Right, right now it's four thirty, sir. Exactly, give it to me in two hours. Why, sir? I want it for my dinner. No, no sir, have it for your breakfast. We gotta give it. No, dinner only, or else. And he goes on a pretty long speech, and we're like, give and do it at six. Fine, fine. And so he, the, the shop clerk, tries to gossip, and like, I'm not interested in gossip. Give the ice to me at six thirty. Promise. Darn you, promise. And he goes ahead, and he goes to another shop, and says, All right, I want, I want ice. How much? How much? This big. Oh, here you go, sir. It'll melt by the time I come in. It's our best ice boxer. Hey, an ice box is useless if there's no ice inside of it. Now give me a better one. Ah,、oh, this one will do. And he goes, and then he goes another shop. Says, give it, give a kilogram of ice to me at six thirty shop without losing any of it. And they're like, sir, no, I'm not being unfair. I'm trying to, I、uh, know I'm not being unfair. You guys are、uh, being slacking off too hard. Now it's time for that to change. Okay, sir. And he goes ahead, and then first time he comes back, and his mom and, and his wife's all like, "Ah, nice, you got the ice." And,、uh, and then at six thirty, they're like, "Wait, you ordered more ice?" Uh, sir. Uh, sir.、So, oh wait. So, okay. Ah,、uh, I guess we'll no, no, no. Give us the ice. Put put in the bathtub, silly, silly. And it goes ahead and does all that. And then they start eating dinner. And then as soon as that happened, another door was like, "You bought more, more ice?"、And、they're like, "Yeah." And he goes ahead and says. Oh, sorry, so um, yeah, give it to me. It's okay. And he goes ahead, gets it all, and he says, "I love a lot of ice." And he's done used the ice as a way to restart the economy. And ever since then, everything's been the same. Everything has been different. The way that Mister Day has introduced to this city slash village. So what's the actual hidden meaning here? I'm guessing that it just also gives a little meaning about slacking off. It gives us that slacking off is terrible, and people will not try will try to、uh, hate you. Like if you slack off, there's not much you can actually do to actually un tarnish your reputation, and unless everyone else is slacking off too. And so basically, go- gossip might be good, but you better do your work first. And like in 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 Korean, there's this thing like no 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 go hale he, that that kind of thing. Anyways, with all that, you actually get a lot of things, and I've been told that too many times. Like, no, no, go ahead, no, 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 go ahead. It's kind of annoying too, like because if you say things at the same time, at the same time, it just get, gets annoying. And so basically, nowadays, I just do my own work. I finish them all before lunch time. I get a bunch of free time, anyways. So basically, I'm guessing this story just goes ahead and says slack off. Like, there's actually also a variation of this that I just made up. No, 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 go ahead and tell me that I have to spend go ahead. That that actually means do your work first and then do what you want as long as you finish all your work well and not slacking off on it. Good job, to be honest. That's actually kind of the hidden meaning here too. Also, it kind of matters. In my opinion, it's kind of embarrassing for the city for like they've been slacked off and suddenly there's this bat, there's this dad who comes in and says, "I am the tall man." 
And you know, I mean, look true and suddenly just electrifies the whole city and the economy to go back in the state. That's kind of embarrassing for a city because, like, if one person can restart the economy, then well, okay, it's impressive for the person, but I'm not sure. You might be asking, how is that embarrassing? It's not. And that's about it. So, is there something else that I actually kind of missed in this episode? I really hope I didn't. And if I did, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next episode. So, until then, shine out. Peace. Bye bye. Oh yeah, and please wear a helmet.